That's right. I'm gonna show you a giant elephant. I'm on my way to find a giant elephant. I'm gonna find that elephant. I'm in Southern, I almost said Southern California. Southern Ontario, forgot where I was. Going back to Detroit for a little bit. First, I'm gonna be somewhere Southern Ontario. And I'm gonna show you some farms where I spent some part of my uh, childhood, which was fun. Good time. This is gonna be cool. Let's go find that elephant. Well, that's the cutest thing in the world. Look at them. Aww. Not only by himself, but those two. They look pretty tight. Aww. We survived John Camp Scotiabank. Good for you, whatever that means, but good for you. I used to hang out at this farm when I was young. There it is. Yep. A lot of time spent there. A lot of time. Now I'm going to show you the actual farm where we spent a lot of time growing up. Here's the fields that we used to be in all the time. Let's see if the treehouse is still there. Let's take a look. We're gonna take a look. We're gonna take a look. I'm approaching the house and I think it's, I think it's gone. I think they put up uh, the farm, uh, the farmhouse that was here, the drop where we hung out. I think they uh, have tore it down, put up a new property. Completely. Let's, uh, we have been right here. Oh no, wait a minute. I think it was right here. Yeah, there's the circular driving. It's all gone. Holy doodle. That's it. Wow. Yep, there's the driveway. It's gone. And all the far, uh, barns in the background. Gone. Wow. Oh wow. Life moves on. I feel like I'm getting close to the elephant. My God, where is this elephant? So back in, I think it was 1885, well, the elef this elephant, Jumbo, the name Jumbo is actually derived because he was Swahili, I believe, and it was Jumbo for hello, something like that. So it just kind of got changed into Jumbo. Now when you see something named Jumbo, like Jumbo fries, Jumbo, well, whatever's Jumbo, it's actually because of this elephant and the name change that people just kind of gave him. Anyways, what is interesting is this is the town where he died, St. Thomas, Ontario. He was the biggest attraction in North America. Look at the size of him, he's huge. This is a life size, wow. And he was crossing the railroad track after a show here in St. Thomas, and he got impaled on his tusk. He tripped, wow, poor guy. And then a locomotive hit him. That's crazy. Very sad. There's lots of other stories that go around about how it actually happened, that he was actually saving a little elephant named Tom Thumb. But apparently that's not true. He just tripped on the tracks as after a show when they were walking him back to his uh, his uh, car where he, you know, would be traveling from town to town and impaled on one of those tusks. That's so crazy. What a life he had, what a very tough life. He was taken from his mother. His mother was killed by poachers in Africa. Then he was sold to somewhere in England and put on display there at a zoo. Then sold to Ringham Barnum and Bailey's Circus. And it was just put on display. They made a lot, he made uh, Barnum and Bailey or Ringling Brothers, whichever, however it works there. What is it? Um, Barnum and Bailey Circus. 
he was put on display at Madison Square Garden. They made back their money that they bought him for, however much they bought him from from England. They made back the money really quickly because he was such an attraction. What a life he probably had, though. I mean, back then to train an elephant, you're you know, you're not giving them treats to do stuff. You're whipping them. You're beating them. Awful, awful. So he probably had a very, very sad life in captivity. And that's why I don't support circuses now that have animals, anything like that. Some zoos, of course, will uh, take care of their animals, give them a better life than they would have had. Put a muffler on that. Uh, you know, I support those zoos, but circuses, no way. So that's really sad that he died like that. Probably exhausted after being on in a show again, and that's it. Rest in peace, Jumbo. Now, I'll show you the train tracks where it happened. Now, I don't think this is the exact one I hit. I'm actually positive it's not. But, I'm sure it's a replica. There's that elephant. I'm on the tail end of it. Hope you can hear me. A lot of traffic around here. Here are the train tracks. They call this Railway City. So they have it somewhere around here, not too far. I'm not walking into the bush though. But yeah, there used to be a huge place where they had the uh, fairgrounds somewhere around here. And here's where he tripped. Uh, there we go. All right, Detroit, here I come.